Hello, Aquarius. This reading is for you, November 1st through the 15th. My name is Renee. And this is your reading. And make sure to check out your Sun, Moon, and Rising for more clarity on the situation. Uh, one sign may resonate more than the other. Typically during new moon or eclipse season, you may want to look at your rising sign first. That usually resonates more due to the eclipse or new moon. Okay, your overall energy is the five of wands. And what's crossing you is the Queen of Cups. Can I get your past energies, please? We have the Page of Swords. Crowning energy is the Six of Wands. Your foundations. These two wanted to come out. Ace of Swords and the Strike card. Your near future is the Tower. You're coming through as the Three of Cups. Your environment is the Seven of Wands. In your hopes and fears, you have the Nine of Wands. And an outcome, please. Lots of wands in this energy. I have an overall, please. Your overall energy is the Empress. Okay. And we have the Emperor, the Queen of Wands, and the Chariot. Let's see. Most of these cards are kind of upside down, so yeah. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Swords. So I feel like you're coming out of um, a restful period. I think that you've actually had to take time off for yourself, Aquarius, um, which is very unusual for you. I don't see you, and Aquarius is slowing down. Aquarius is usually very busy, very um, restless, very um, on the move. Okay. And okay, for your overall energy, you have the Five of Wands and the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is in your challenge position. So I'm feeling like um, it's maybe a very challenging time. Um, maybe... Uh, your counterpart or your partner, this is a challenging time for you. You're kind of going through bickering or going through some sort of situation that's kind of leaving you feeling kind of drained. And I think that's the reason why you're coming out of the Four of Swords energy. Um, in the near past, you have the Page of Swords. So I'm, I'm feeling like Maybe someone has told you something or you received a message or a call. Someone has told you something about some kind of truth that you were not aware of. Um, but it's actually brought you to a place where 
you're actually more able to see things how they are. You are recognizing the situation for what it is. Um, I feel like this news could be good news. This news could be something that has brought you a lot of clarity and a lot of hope and strength for the situation. Um, so it doesn't necessarily have to be bad news that you received, but it is definitely news that has brought you a lot of clarity over the situation. Um, this could also be a beginning of new ideas, new thoughts, new, new feelings. Um, but it's definitely, it, what you found out definitely changes everything. It's definitely bringing you to a change. Um, whether this change is good or bad, um, I don't, it, the, the tower, it represents drastic change, ultimate change, um, but it can also represent freedom. These people are locked in this tower. There's no way out. And the only way out is to jump. So they're actually being freed from this situation. As grim as it sounds, it could be you're being freed from this situation. Now, this is you, uh, the Three of Cups. So I see yourself surrounded by people. Um, but I think that you're kind of, you're thinking whether these people are the right people. Does that make sense? Um, it may be time to take a look at the people you surround yourself with and kind of cut loose the people who no longer fit in your life. Because as we grow and expand in our beliefs, in our, in our lifestyles, we tend to grow out of people. Um, so this may be a time when you are cutting people loose from your life, when these people no longer have your same values or have your same intentions. Um, it may be that you want to cut these people out of your life um, to kind of move on. Um, in your hopes and fears, you have the nine of wands, but you have the nine of wands reversed. So what I'm feeling is that you need to set clear boundaries on the situation. And maybe you haven't did that. Maybe you let your boundaries, um, loosen over time. You felt really comfortable in the situation and your boundaries have kind of, um, went away you, uh, you need to set new boundaries for the situation in your overall you have the empress so this is very fertile abundant energy so I, I feel like you're you're going into your happiness you're coming into your own you are transitioning into something more abundant in your life um this could also be very motherly, mothering energy. So if you're thinking about starting a family, um, th this is the energy to do that with. Now in the clarifying cards, you have some doozies, man. You have the emperor. You are bossing up in this situation. You are taking full control. You have all of the capability, all the confidence, all the self-assurance that you that you need in this situation, you are a force to be reckoned with, Aquarius. Um, and these are very strong cards. So in these cards, I see a lot of strength, a lot of movement, a lot of um, trusting and your tuition, you're definitely trusting the universe where you want to go. You have the emperor, you have the queen of wands, you have the chariot. Those are very strong cards, Aquarius. So you are 
standing in your power at the moment. I feel like you are definitely moving into a new stage in your life. You are moving into something that's actually more, um, more abundant, more destined change is what I want to say. But these energies, these energies are powerful energies. I feel like you are you are definitely coming into your own Aquarius. So whatever changes that you have made or what you're going through, these changes are wow. Okay, now in your future position, well, in, in your position at the moment, we have the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. So I think you're progressing. You're progressing from your self-isolation um, out of that depression. Uh, you may have been depressed at, at, at some time in the near past, and I feel like you're actually transitioning out of that. That's something that, that's behind you now with the page of swords you have the page of pentacles so definitely messages 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 um you may receive a message um or this could be you channeling the information a new idea um you have the queen of wands on the six of wands so definitely you are following your intuition are asserting yourself in this situation with the ace of swords and the strength card you have the seven of cups so i feel like options are opening up for you um these are leading you to new ideas that are going to change everything with the tower you have the chariot so you're definitely moving in the right direction after that tower moment, you are actually more powerful. I feel like the tower moment actually freed you from a situation, and now you're 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 moving towards your destiny. Yeah, with the three of cups, you have the five of pentacles. So I feel like these are people that you want to leave behind you. These are people that no longer serve um, things that you desire. They no longer serve your, your destiny. Does that make sense? That's what I'm feeling. The seven of wands, you have the high priestess. So I feel like whatever it is that you're protecting, um, you were following your gut in the situation. You were using your intuition and it actually helped will help you set the boundaries that you need to set. Yeah, because you have the Queen of Pentacles. So once you set those boundaries, stand on those boundaries, stand on those beliefs, because she's going to provide you with more stability in your situation. She's going to provide you with more uh, resourcefulness in the situation. Uh, with the Empress, you have the Seven of Wands. So, yeah, I believe that you are kind of, you're, you're protecting it is that you believe. You're protecting yourself. You're protecting this Empress energy. Maybe someone doesn't believe that you can succeed at this. And so you're protecting, you're defending what it is you believe. Tell me more about this Emperor, Queen of Wands, and the Chariot. Okay. Two. Now we have the um, Three of Swords in reverse, and we have the Magician. So I believe that what's coming forward is actually going to be an end to your past disappointments. This is actually going to be an end of your instability. 
um, you're going to be more resourceful. You're going to be more prosperous. And it's actually, yes, the Ten of Cups. You're, you actually have the Magician and the Ten of Cups. So, and you have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom. So, yeah, this is definitely destiny coming to you. So this is going to be an end of all your frustrations, all of your disappointments. This is going to be a new beginning, a new manifestation. Uh, this may be something that you have been manifesting for a while, but it's finally coming into fruition. Um, but yeah, it's going to bring you a lot of happiness, health, um, a lot of contentment. Wow, I love this for you, Aquarius. This is a great reading. Okay, angels, what do we need to leave him with or her? Okay, opening to discovery. Yeah, new doors are opening for you right now. Um, you're making new discoveries. You're, you're having new thoughts on the situation. Number 34 may be very important for you. And you also have the land in between. Actually, a lot of other signs have been getting that too. So I feel like, especially with this eclipse season, you're kind of in between worlds right now. I feel like you are um, not really stuck, but you're kind of moving ahead and you're in the transition of moving ahead. Um, so I feel like you're, you're in two worlds at the moment. And you have number one, Earth Magic. So, yeah, that's definitely magician energy right there. So, yeah, I, I think that is the universe letting you know that you are in the right direction. You are going the right way. You are on the right path. You need to focus your creativity and bring those things that you have an intentions on. Bring those things down to earth and create those. Um, you also have a higher view, number 41. So I feel like the universe is letting you know they have your back. They, they are watching you from above make these decisions as you move across. Um, let's get some energy from your angels. Get some energy from your angels, please. Okay, we have Shanti. I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. Definitely love that energy. Okay, we also have Archangel Raphael. I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. Wow. One more. I know you hear my cat in the background. He's being something else. We also have Vanessa. To make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose? Which way takes me away from it? Okay. That should help you in, in any decision that you make. And you have Bridget on the bottom. Uh, caution is warranted. Look deeper into this situation before proceeding forward. Yeah, so there, there's a message to move forward, but use caution. Okay, Aquarius, this message is for you. Make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for further uh, clarification on your situation. If this doesn't resonate with you, your um, moon and rising sign may be uh, resonating more with you. Usually during this time, the rising sign is the one that resonates more. So yeah, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I appreciate all of your support. And as always, love and light. Many blessings to you. Take care.